Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So to start off this look we're going to be gluing down the eyebrows. So taking this little spatula and some Elmer's non-toxic glue I'm going to really push it into my brows and then I'm going to spritz some water on my finger and try to smooth out the chunks that may have been left behind. And then once that dries you can do more layers if you want to but I knew I'd be covering it with studs so I'm just pushing some powder into my brows to hold that layer in place and then I'm going to go over them with some of this LA Girl Peach Concealer and try to cover the color of my brows as much as possible. Then using the NYX Total Control Foundation, I'm going to apply a light layer of coverage. This is so good if you're going to be working with lots of layers because it is so thin, but it provides like really, really good coverage for how thin of a consistency it is, so I highly recommend it. And then I'm going to highlight and conceal with my Tarte Shape Tape. And once I blended it out, I realized I wanted more. So I went in with my Kat Von D Whiteout Concealer and then blended that in before I powdered with my Ben Nye Cameo Powder. Off camera, I looked at a reference picture and used an eyebrow pencil to kind of make a little stencil of my face. I would highly recommend doing this, especially if you have no idea what you are doing like me. So I filled in my nose with the Mayron Black Paradise paint, and I am going to also kind of outline the top of the jawbone, just so that way I can keep it more on the sharp side. But I didn't do the bottom jawbone because I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't know if I wanted to wanted it to be shaded or really sharp. I just kind of had an idea but let really the look kind of take me wherever it went. So I just kind of outlined where I had put the stencil and then took the black shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette and a little pencil brush and really shaded in that jawbone area. So since I didn't really have any idea what I was doing, I decided to go in with this little mustard shade. I don't remember what it's called, but it's that light brown mustard shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I decided to kind of shade with that color because going in with black can be kind of tricky, especially if you don't know what you're doing. It's easier to add black than to take away. So I just did that, and then I decided to kind of outline the bottom of the jawbone as well. So I took the pencil brush and decided to kind of fill it in and shade around the bottom. But I left a little bit of the center exposed, which I ended up filling in later. But like I said, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I'm just kind of going with the flow at this point. So I took whatever was left on that pencil brush and kind of shaded the teeth just to kind of make a nice little outline. Plus, you're going to want to shade in between the teeth anyways. It just makes it look more realistic. And I knew I'd be putting gems on, so it's easier to do it before than after. It's important to kind of think about these things ahead of time because it's just, it's going to make your life easier in the end. So I took this shader brush and that black shade again, and I put it on really messy in a circle around my eyes because I'm going to be blending it out pretty far. So I'm just taking this fluffier brush and very slowly picking up the black shade and building it up and making a nice little round hollow socket for my eye. So since I wanted this to be a really glam skull, I'm going to be using the middle shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and it's more of a bronzy shade than I normally go for, but I'm going to kind of carve out my forehead and really focus it right there in the temples, which will give a nice hollowed outlook. 
and then I'm also going to put a lot on my jawbone and my chin bring it down my neck a little bit so you can do whatever you prefer for this step but I knew I didn't want to use black and I wanted to keep her nice and glam so I'm just going pretty ham with the bronze and contour I realized I wanted my temple to be even more hollow, so I'm taking the same shader brush that I used on my eyes and picking up just the tiniest bit of black, and I'm putting that right there in my little temple hollow. And then I picked up the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm taking the middle shade on the bottom row, which is a nice dark gold color, and I am putting that literally all over my face. This color is normally too dark for me, but I knew it would tie in really well with the gems I'm going to use. So if you are going to be using anything colorful, you can use a colorful highlight, really whatever you want. Um, if I were to do something colorful, I'd probably use my Moonchild Glow Kit. It would go perfectly for something like this. So that's just something to think about. Really make sure your look flows and ties together well. To save some time, I popped on my lashes and my teeth off camera, as well as did a little wing with my Mayron Gold Paint. Ooh, I don't actually know what it's called, but I will link it down below. It's a powder that comes with a little mixing medium, and you just make your own liquid with it. So I used it for a liquid liner. And these gems are definitely what's going to take you the longest, which is why I started off camera. This took me forever, and as you can see, one of them fell on my eyelashes. I didn't even notice until like halfway through. So just take your time with this and just know that this is definitely tedious. You're gonna have to take your time. I kind of like making them asymmetrical. I didn't make both sides exactly the same, and I also didn't make them a perfect circle, and I added some outside of the circles. If you know what I mean, I added a few to my forehead as well because I felt like it was just missing something in that area. And then this is where I decided to fill in that hollow area that I left and just made the little lines around the jawbone hollows a little bit darker just to add some dimension and texture. And then I popped on my hat and that is the completed look guys. Just know that this is pretty simple but the studs are definitely what take the longest so just be prepared for that and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to tag me in your looks if you recreate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!